Coming up on LX New York, real or fake? Which would you prefer? Boob jobs have become like hair extensions. Housewives, teenagers, even the innocent girl next door is getting implants. But did you know there's been a shift in Hollywood where directors want girls with the real thing? When did this happen? Yeah, everybody come along. to a little bit of a sen sensitive subject. We were just talking about um, Pamela Anderson, but it's sensitive for women. It's their breast size. And Hollywood used to be obsessed with fake breasts, but it looks like the days of the double Ds are numbered. Right, Ralphie? Right, Ralph. <laughs> it's being called the boob bust, and it's the latest debate raging in Hollywood. Real versus fake. And what's in and what's out. Stars like Pam Anderson and the Hills castmate Heidi Montag have made a living off their inflated bus lines. But could the real life Barbie look be on the way out? I'm a Barbie girl in the Barbie world. Life in plastic, it's fantastic. Today's New York Post says so long to the double D's and praises stars like Sienna Miller and Anna Paquin for embracing their flat chests. My heart, my heart, my heart, my lovely little lump. Check it out. A recent casting call for the new Pirates of the Caribbean movie called for actresses with real breasts and warned of a show-and-tell inspection. But is Tinseltown really ready for the au naturel look? Famously flat, Kate Hudson recently made headlines for reportedly augmenting her breasts. But today's debate is nothing new. Women have long been concerned with their chest size. Don't tempt me. I can't even look at pretty bras. I need a support bra. Honey, got some movies like wow. Oh, wow. And while the way we present our chest obsession may have changed, the feelings of what's best has not. But is the grass always greener? Are the potential health risks worth it? And can we ever be happy with the size of our breasts? And joining us now, our senior editor of In Touch Weekly, Amy Palmer, lifestyle expert Cooper Lawrence, and Tania Wooten. Welcome, ladies. Great to be here. Thank Sensitive you. subject for some ladies. Let's talk to Tania first. You actually just had a breast implant procedure put in. Yeah. Now, what made you decide to do this? Um, I just wanted to feel more confident and look better in my clothing. It wasn't a decision made based on a boyfriend or Hollywood. It was just you wanted to feel more confident? Yeah. Did you always grow up flat chested? Yeah. And so it made you kind of insecure about it? Not really insecure, just, you know, just a better look. But my guess is you, you considered it for a long time. You didn't wake up one day and go, I'd like breasts. No, yeah, right. it took years for me to come to this decision. I did research. Um, I went to Dr. Jennifer Walden's website and I went back and forth for a year. My friend had a procedure, so that kind of gave me the confidence to go ahead and do it. So I went to her office, had a consultation. Her staff was great. She was great. And I had it about four weeks ago. I think that, um, you know, I have friends that, and my uh, a relative that grew up very flat chested, and it made her very insecure about it. And I think that that's a well, good reason to do it. Flat chested is a boyish it. thing, and that you right. called a boy, and, and, and that's the idea. Breasts are something that make us feminine. Yeah, it's right. what makes us women. And for a lot of women that are flat chested, there's something about their own self esteem that it really does have an impact, and the research supports that. And I think that that's true. And you look beautiful and natural, but when yes, we. Yes, you look beautiful. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Yes, I wanted to body. look natural. I didn't want to look over the top. Right. I really did. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah, important. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. Right. I was reading that Kate Hudson actually had um, an augmentation. Well, she was she very flat. Is, flat is that true? Because yeah. she was very flat It's chest. not confirmed, yeah. but if you look at the pictures, it does look a little more ample. You know, I guess we can say that. And But Kate Hudson is a beautiful woman, you know. I think that people really looked at her as a role model because she doesn't have that big, busty look that right. we've seen with people like Hadi Montag. Yeah. But maybe, but she, her, her breasts now look a little more, they look natural. They don't look gigantic. And I think that's what we're talking about today. But people right. like Kate Hudson and Tania are a good example. Women tend to think about this a long time. They don't wake up one day and decide to do it. And when adults do it, it's perfectly okay. And the criticism is that, well, it has something to do with your self-esteem. It improves your self-esteem, but there's are, nothing yeah. wrong with doing it. There are reasons to do it, and there are reasons not to do it. You right. actually just had the procedure four yeah. weeks ago. Yeah. So how do you feel right now? How does, does it hurt? Yeah, no, it, it doesn't now? hurt. Recovery, I went back to work in like 10 days. Um, it was great. The hospital was great. My doctor was great. Um, I thought oh, that... Oh, that's your before picture oh, right Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was just...
just the night before. I went out to a concert with my friend the night before my surgery. That was the last look at my little boobs. Do people yeah. notice the difference now? That, like, if people didn't know that you had it? You know, they notice something different, uh, but they don't know exactly what it is, and that's great, because I didn't want to come back to work, and they're like, oh, my God. Yes, like, <laughs> Heidi Montag all over the place. Yeah. Now, I mean, how does, what happens there? When, when well, she has body out. dysmorphia. That's a okay. whole other that's thing. A, that is that's not a thing. normal person there. Yeah. She has a lot of issues, and they have to do with the fact that she has nothing going on inside. Mm -hmm. Everything about her is external. And the fact that the breast got bigger and bigger and she's getting more and more surgery, that's body dysmorphia. Problem, that's very different. The problem with that is, is that it teaches young girls that big breasts or fixing your outside can heal what's inside. Right. And I think that's what the, the, um, the popular opinion is, is how can we protect our young girls but, from feeling like, let me fix everything and then everything will be okay in my life. And isn't Hollywood, though, um, kind of changing their perspective on fake breasts? Because I know that... Um, that Osborne, what's her name? Oh, Sharon, Sharon Osborne, Sharon Osborne yeah. is yeah. taking hers out and she's going to give she's it She's not obvious, much of an like, icon, though. She's older. They don't really relate to her. But, but the younger girls are, are the ones that need to, to, to come out and say, I've got natural breasts. I would never right. do such a thing. Well, yeah. And Pirates of the that. Caribbean now. But they're Yeah, they're, they're asking, casting, casting all, for her. It's all natural but boobs. But if you look at some of the wonderful actresses of our time, Kate Winslet, Kate Hudson, Kira Knightley, mm -hmm. they're all natural and they're also talented. So I think that if young women can look at them as an example of, you know, what they're relying on their talent and not right. on their breasts, I think that's very good to showcase to offset the Heidi Montags of the world, which, you know, by the way, when she's 50 years old, what is her talent going to be? Right. And I think What's that's your talent the, now? Nothing. <laughs> that it is. Oh, it's just, right. that's I it. understand that it is surgery at the end of the day, so it's very serious. That's right. the other so, thing. Because, yeah. you know, if you've ever had any type of surgery and you have to go in, there's a whole lot that goes on with that other than just going in and getting it done. There's recovery, you're going to have some pain and all this kind of thing. I don't think people always think about that necessarily. Right. Yeah. I, I think they just look at these images and they say, you know, I want to look like Barbie, but they don't think about like the days and the weeks that they're going to have to spend in bed right. recuperating. And know? now, like these people that do it for the wrong reasons, don't you think? Well, obviously they need to come. Up, they need to figure out what their real issues are. Like a Heidi Montag. I'm not. Obviously, you did it for the right reasons. Yeah. Let's say what the right reasons are. What are the right reasons? I mean, the right reasons would be that you're somebody that thought about this a long time. It's something else you want to do, that you don't see it as the pinnacle of your self-esteem, that your self-worth comes from somewhere else. And you're a woman, you have a little extra cash, and you just want to do it because you want to feel better about your body. And the research shows that women between the ages of 35 and 55 tend to get plastic surgery when they feel better about themselves. They do it because, you know what, I can, and I'm aging, and I want my breasts. And especially if you have kids, you know, they start heading down here. Yeah. You know, if you can do it. I say do it. We're actually going to um, have a poll on the website. And the question is going to be, if you had the money, would you get breast implants? So you can go to lxnewyork.com and um, rate our, on our poll and see what we, we'll see what we see think what about happens. the women. Maybe we'll check in at the end of the show and see how many people have said something. So thank you very much for coming in and thank letting you, us know that you lady. did that. You're <laughs> great. You look beautiful. Either way, you look beautiful. Thanks to you, too, for stopping by and talking thanks about for having breast us. today. <laughs> okay. Now